When it comes to the blind bags universe, Golden Boy Colleen was limited to mini brands. Truth be told, other than the Kika Goods blind bags, which were sent to him for free, he has never bought or opened any other types of blind bags. That particular thing didn't occur to him until he did this. Once he was safe on the ground and pumped with adrenaline, this idea came into his head. What if he gets every single blind bag from 5 below? Sure, it sounds extreme, but it's nowhere near what he just did. Then, the video started taking shape during Memorial Day, when he was relaxing. Yep, the sunshine, the smell of grass and burning wood, the sound of meat sizzling on the grill. I mean, look at all this food. These specific conditions are what give shape to an idea. Good food, beautiful weather, great company, and chocolate. Yeah, there's no footage of the chocolate because it's already gone. So he pursued this idea and didn't think for a second that he might bite a bit more than he could chew. He went to 5 below, and then he grabbed one of every single type of blind bag that they had in the store. It was at this point that he started to second guess this idea. He never expected that one Five Below store had so many different types of blind bag products. But it wasn't over yet because the end cap was also full of blind bags. In the end, the cart was almost full and he counted around 40 blind bags. This also hurt his wallet a little bit, the grand total being $184.79. But it was all possible because of you, the viewer. And he's thankful for that.
All right, we are back home. This is a bit crazy. I did not expect that I'm gonna do this, but um, yeah. Why don't we do this one first? It's called Frenemies, Awfully Adorable Series 1. Okay, in total, there are a few. <laughs> I'm not gonna count them right now. They look pretty cool. I don't know if they're from some kind of a animated thing or not, but um, let's see what we got inside. Okay, here's our little figure. You know what? It looks pretty cool and it's actually... The quality is not bad. Is this supposed to stand on something? Let me see if I have the other part. Yeah, there's nothing in there. Anyway, yeah, I like this one. It's not bad. This is My Hero Academia. Backpack clips. Seems like there's 12 in total. And here they are on the back. I am not at all familiar with My Hero Academia, so whatever I get, it's good for me. Okay, we got this guy. I have absolutely no clue who he is, uh, but he looks cool. Nice detail. Let's see what's his name. It's Shoto or Shoto Todoroki. Now this I know what it is. It's from The Office. I don't even know they have these figures. Seems like these two here are supposed to be rare maybe. I don't know. Or this one, the gold one is rare. I have never seen packaging like this. It's almost like a garbage bag, like a black garbage bag. But it's the contents that matter, right? Not the packaging. I do not know his name, but I know who he is. I'm not watching The Office. I, I think I watched like an episode or something and then I started watching something else, but I heard it's pretty cool. So maybe I'm gonna, I'm gonna start watching it. Uh, quality is really good. I think it's better than the other two. Do you guys collect these? Are you guys a fan of The Office? All right, this is Harry Potter 8 to collect bag tags. Limited edition, I'm guessing that's a gold one. That's a limited edition. It's a Harry Potter with wand golden. Oh, and then there's an invisible one. All right, this is the first one that comes with the collector's guide. Well, it's more like a pamphlet than a collector's guide. Hey, we actually got Harry Potter. How cool is that? Harry Potter. Detail is not too bad. I wish there was a bit more detail on the face. It's just like this is painted there. But overall, it looks pretty good. What do you guys think about this one? Oh, wow, this is a little bit heavy. Um, it's called Tuna Tsunami's Prize Baggies Series 1. 12 different styles to collect. Shake them up, watch them spin. This is going to be interesting. I wonder if there's actually like a liquid in there or something. Oh my god, more stuff on the side. Oh wow, there's actually liquid in there. That is absolutely wild. I have never seen anything like this. Wow, this is crazy. And honestly, out of all of them so far, this is like the best quality. Like the plastic is like clear and really shiny and no scratches or anything. This is really cool. I'm definitely gonna keep this one. Out of all of them that I opened so far, this is the best. What do you guys think about this? Did you ever see this? Did you ever bought this? All right, let's see what this is. My Squishy Little Snack Pack. There's 50 plus interactive characters to collect. Finally, something that has a lot more stuff to collect. That's pretty cool. It comes in this like, I don't know, like hamburger, fast food hamburger type of box. I really hope I get a burger because I love burgers. No, oh, it's a little bit smaller, but I love the design on the inside of the box. I mean, look at that. It's like you have a little shop or a theater or something. That looks cool. And then in here we have what looks to be a pair of glasses. I'm guessing those will go on whatever we got in here. I really like how they package this. It literally looks like a, like a burger or something. I think if you're careful with this, and remove it gently like so then this will be your collector's guide <laughs> pretty cool i gotta say it's a pretty unique way to actually you know have a collector's guide for one of these um surprise blind bags 
And it seems like we got a Apple, which is a bummer. I wanted something else. Honestly, out of all of them, I think Apple is my, my least favorite. Does it do something? Oh, okay. So you can put it in like this and then you squeeze these two dots and it comes out like that, which is pretty cool. Not bad. And the quality is, is there. I mean, it's it has some weight to it. It's pretty heavy. It's not like a cheap type of thing, you know? Oh, we forgot about the glasses. Yep, it does go on the Apple. That is pretty cool. All right, next up, we got this Trolls World Tour. Tiny Dancers. Seems like this there's packaging here, but then there's like a, like a case of sorts and it has a zipper. Finally, one that has a zipper and it's not mini brands. Let's see how their zipper works. E, not as good. Or should I say just as bad as the mini brands in some cases. Oh, that's crazy. So these are the trolls we could get. And then they go on your fingers like this. And then this seems to be a small collector's guide. There's 12 to collect in total. There they are. I will not know their name. I mean, whatever we get in here, I'm just gonna call it a troll. Okay. Oh, this is really small. Whoa. <laughs> oh my God, that is crazy looking. Or if we twist it like this. That is insane. So put this right here. Yeah, that's not gonna fit. Unless it goes somewhere else. Is it like, should I put this in my hair or something? And then I'm not sure what this is. Oh my God, it's actually glasses. The case that, you know, contains this troll actually turns into a pair of glasses. So yeah, bonus points for that. That is crazy. Look at that. That's very creative on their part. Good job. Maybe you can take it off like this. Oh yeah. And you put it here on the side. But now you need two. You need one over here so that it's, you know, nice and symmetric. Since we opened something troll related, we might as well go with this one next. So it's a uh, another Trolls World Tour, surprise mini plushie, collect them all, reusable bag, that's cool. And these over here seem to be all the plushies we could get. That is really nice, look at that. Grab this. That is so satisfying. We got a crazy looking one. Not very impressive quality, but um, yeah, I don't know. I really don't know. I mean, what do you expect? It's not that expensive anyhow, but um, yeah, you'd think it's a little bit more quality to it. And then this seems to be like a guide of sorts. Uh, let's see, we got Branch. That's what we got. Yeah, I'm not too crazy about them. Anyway, let's move on. Now this one I really like. It's Lucky Fortune. I never opened one of these, but uh, I know it's in, I think, Toy Mini Brand Series 2, which is pretty cool. This is the actual, you know, regular size, I guess. Okay, first of all, okay, one of those things where we don't have time for this because we have so many to open. I don't know what to call it. You know what it is, like that thing with the fingers and you ask a question and do that thing and the numbers and blah, blah, blah. And then on this other side, it seems like we have a collector's guide. Okay, this is gonna be really interesting to open. I like this type of video where I do something that I never done before because like with mini brands, I know what to expect. I know how to do it. It's it's like, a, it comes in naturally. But with this, like, yeah, I have no clue. I've never opened one of these. I don't know exactly what do I need to do, but it's cool to, you know, figure it out as we go. And I hope you guys enjoy this type of video too. Okay, and now I'm guessing it kind of opens like a like a fortune cookie. Yes, it does. What is in there? Wait, is that it? Yeah, I think so. All right, let's uh, let's see what we got in here. It's a nice little I don't know what you call this medallion or something. I think it's a bracelet, right? Um, it looks like it's a moon and a star. It's really good quality, by the way. So that's a plus. And then over here, 
We obviously got our fortune. You are loved to the moon and back. Well, that's nice. Is there something on the back? Oh, it's in a different language. I guess that's French. And the other one is Spanish. And then those are, I don't know, are those lucky numbers or lottery numbers? Because I, I don't know of any lottery that they have numbers up to 99. So either that's a mistake or it's just like lucky numbers. Yeah, this is what we got. Let's, let me try to put it on or something. Yeah, I don't think my big hands will fit it. I kind of don't want to break it. Come on. There we go. Come on. All right. Worked. And look, this is really slick, actually. You can tighten it up. I think actually this is, oh no, it's a fortune cookie. I thought this is kind of like a half moon or something. Anyway, so you can, you can tighten it up like that really nice. That looks pretty cool. I like it. And there's also like so many different ones to collect. So there's different categories, adventure, friendship, success, love, happiness. If you guys know more about these, let me know in the comments. All right, let's do this one next. It's called Squishville. Includes one mystery mini. Never had a regular Squishmallow, so I don't know how this will be. Oh, that's so tiny. This is so tiny. <laughs> I think it looks pretty good. It's like a unicorn. There you go. This is it. It's just a little plushy. Not amazing quality, and I'm guessing it's because it's so tiny, but overall, I think it looks good. All right, before we move on, I want to show you something. I got this in my PO box from one of you guys. The person who sent me this and the problem is it was in my PO box, but I found it like this. I'm not sure if there was supposed to be something in there that got, you know, it got ripped out or maybe it was too thick. You know, envelopes have to be a certain thickness for them to allow it, but then I, I don't think the post office would just rip it off. We have these cute little stickers here on the back, G, B, K. That's really nice. Thank you. And, um, yeah, I think another thing, like if it's a, if it was a mini brand in here or something that's pretty thick, they have these crazy fast machines that they use to process mail uh, at the post office. And I'm thinking that when it went through that thing, it got jammed or something and it ripped it off. I don't know. I'm really sorry if there was something else in there. If anything, you probably jammed their machine. So uh, let's, let's open and see what else is in there. All right, so the note says, hi, I hope you like this resin key. Oh man, there was something in there. Yeah, darn it. Hi, I hope you like this resin keychain charm I made for you. I am a fan of all the videos. You seem like a nice person to me. I really look forward to more of your videos. Stay well and safe. I really appreciate you sending me this and I'm sure the keychain looked amazing. I'm really, really sorry that the post office, that it got jammed or something and it was pulled out of there. But I do appreciate the note and uh, the thought of you making that for me and sending it my way. It just made my day knowing that I, I received something from a fan. So thank you. And if you guys want to send me something, even if it's just a note, please make sure you check the address in the description. I'll leave my PO box there. And then also make sure you package it in a way that, you know, the post office won't be able to damage it. Thank you. Okay, next up we have PJ Masks um, Spark Series. Let's see. We're getting two surprises inside. All right, so this is the collector's guide. These are the things we could get, or the characters rather, from this series. And then here on the back, you have a little game and that's about it. Seems like there's 10 in total to collect. Let's see, let's see which ones did we get. Oh, that's nice. We have this, um, I don't know, lizard, dragon, dinosaur looking guy. Oh. It's a gecko or a geico? Gecko. Geico is the company, the, what do you call it? The insurance company. Um, so we got a gecko and I'm guessing in here it's that shield of his, which kind of looks like a turtle thingy. Yep. And it's a different texture too. This is almost like a rubber. His legs are moving. His arms are moving. It looks pretty cool. I gotta say it's a, it's a really, really good quality. Let's try to put him here. Wait, I don't get this. Is he just gonna hold it like this? Also, it's either one hand or the other. Peekaboo. 
<laughs> All right, so that is PJ Masks. Cool toy. Really nice, really nice quality for a blind bag. Obviously, we had to get one of these. It's a it's a blind bag, and I did say I'm gonna get all the blind bags from Five Below. So let's see what we got. Maybe we get lucky, we get something we're missing. We're just missing two mini brand series three, and then my collection will be complete. All right, and here we got Deli Fresh, TJ Friday's Chicken Wings, and Jolly Ranchers. So nothing of what I need. Let's move on to the next one. I don't know what this is, but it's a blind bag. So, I mean, it's not a bag, it's a box, but it counts as a blind bag. So it's Marvel Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings Brick Breaker. Oh boy, it's actually a brick. I mean, not a real brick, but... <laughs> this is crazy. Okay, these guys get like 10 points for just being creative. I mean, look at this. It's like a, it's kind of almost like a styrofoam thingy. Yeah, and you're supposed to just karate chop it really hard, I guess. I guess let's go for it. And I think we broke it. Oh, there's a lot of stuff in there. Okay, so we got all these characters that are kind of like translucent detailed but you know it's just like one color they look like gummy bears to be honest all right i think they're all the same and then this is uh, i have no clue what this is it has like angel wings we got this little guy i don't know who he is oh i get it now so you do get all these and then one that's a mystery. We got this little guy here. In terms of quality, it looks really good. Uh, it's cool that you get this and then all the other ones. And I think the selling point for me, it's like the originality of this. I mean, you know how I open mini brands and I open sometimes like 12 or 24 or even 48, you know, balls. Imagine me karate chopping like 40 of these for a video. <laughs> That'd be crazy. All right, next up we got the classic console. There's eight in total to collect. Uh, these are the types you could possibly get. Wish I could get this one or that one. Oh yeah, that one. I used to play a lot on one of those as a kid. Okay, this type of packaging is a bit weird. Oh, we did get that one. That is so cool. Oh, and the buttons actually work. Yeah, those small ones don't work, but these these three over here work. It's pretty cool. If you grew up in that era, these these will bring back a lot of memories. They're very nostalgic, I guess. I could see people rocking some of these on their backpack. Okay, this is Littlest Pet Shop, Lucky Pets. It looks like, like a lamp, uh, not a lamp, what do you call it? The, the thing Aladdin had? I think it's a lamp, right? Let's open it and see what we got. Oh, am I supposed to pull upwards? Oh, that's nice. What just happened? Oh, so this is part of the packaging. It doesn't come off, does it? So what did I get? Oh, it fell down. My bad. <laughs> right, here it is. Packaging, awesome. Like, I've never seen anything like this. I actually thought this is plastic and, you know, it comes out and then you open it somehow. I don't know, like the, like the fortune cookie or whatever. But no, you pull it out and this just literally jumps out of there, which is pretty cool. I gotta say, that's a really original way of packaging them. Oh, and there's a guide over there too. It just fell off. Let's see. This might be really boring for those of you that are already collecting these are very familiar with them, but I am not at all, so this is new for me. These are the ones you can get, uh, kind of like the common ones from the mini brands and then the rare ones and the super rare ones. Let's see which one we got. Okay, we got a pink or purple cat. And this is a, a coin or something. LPS, I wonder what does that stand for? Oh, a little pet shop, duh. We got Tarot, which is a just a lucky, meaning a common. You're not lucky to get one of these. You're going to get one of these for sure. It's a common one. Quality is okay. I mean, it's a weird type of plastic, I guess. Anyway, that's a little pet shop. All right, this is another one that's interesting, and I was really curious to open it. It's Lost Kitties, and 
it has some weight to it. Like, I think this is good quality. And even the box, it's it's well made. It seems like there's 36 to collect in 2018. All right, well, inside we should have Lost Kitty's figure, two accessories, shaping compound, meme sticker, collector's sheet. That's a lot of stuff. Wait, each sold separately, subject to availability, actual product may be better. This is weird. Like, it gives me weird vibes. First, there's like, see available. Then it says here that in 2018, and now they say that it includes all these and then that each of them are sold separately like what is this supposed to mean anyway we're, i guess we're gonna find out let's open it that is strange what uh what is that all right let's check here this is so strange it looks like it's some kind of dough let's see who did you find hidden inside? These are the series one figures you could get. They look pretty nice. I'm, I'm curious to see how the quality is. It is a very original way to sell these, I guess, but yeah, it's, it's a bit strange. So I guess that's why it was heavy. You know, that's why I felt the box was heavy and I'm like, oh, this is amazing quality. Oh, it's Play-Doh. I had to sniff it for a bit. It's, it's exactly like Play-Doh. Feels a bit different though. How am I supposed to just, am I just going to dig it out of there like that? I might be doing this the wrong way. And if I am, you guys tell me in the comments. Because if I buy these again, I want to do it the right way. Okay, we're getting to something. You gotta say it's a little bit messy to do this, but it's interesting. I mean, it's, it's kind of original, I guess. That's what I'm noticing with these so far. There's a lot of originality in the way they made these. I think that's it. Let's get this off. Oh no, there's more. All right, this would be a pain to open all of these, Jesus. And then I don't know how am I gonna clean these. Let me let me go wash my hands before we open those. All right, hands are washed. Now I really have to be careful not to get them dirty again, which I probably will. This is really messy. So if you guys want to collect these but you're not ready to get messy then just don't <laughs> imagine trying to collect all 36 of them imagine how much of that like play-doh you would have right that'd be a lot okay it's like a cat with a fish <laughs> in its mouth i'm guessing she's sitting in the in a bowl that the fish was in There's like a little paw on the on the bottom of it it looks pretty cool it's not not amazing quality but it looks pretty cool i was expecting these to be bigger but they are not let's see what's this fella called there is hashtag nums and his name is bowley or bowley either bowley or bowley i like lofi a lot but we are stuck with bowley or bowley and then we have this little mouse that still has some of that play-doh on it and the seashell you already saw this and last but not least i think this is the, the meme card or something or a sticker i think it's the i think it's the meme sticker let's see i hated it I don't get it but <laughs> that would be a mistake i would make grammar wise <laughs> i aided it it's something i would say i think it's a mistake right beautiful so these are my final thoughts um not very good quality really good job on being original and you know it's like a milk carton and then you have the play-doh and something is hidden it's quite messy so I don't know. I think kids will, will love this because, you know, kids like to do these kind of things and get messy and stuff. So me, eh, not so much. The blind bags are usually right. They have like a, it's like a series. So you have to collect quite a few. In this instance, it says 36. So I could not see myself do this. I don't see myself opening God knows how many of these in order to complete my collection and just, you know, just digging through all that Play-Doh. Yeah, no, thank you. All right, next up we have Paladon, eight to collect. This is BT21, Backpack Buddies. You know what? One of you guys told me about this in a comment. I forgot who, but now that I see BT21, I remember that someone told me in a comment. And they also said if I open some of these, I mean, I'm just opening one, but if I open some of these, I should give them a shout out. I don't remember your name right now. I mean, your username on YouTube, but I'm going to put your comment right here. So there you go. That's your shout out. Thank you for suggesting these, but I didn't get them because you suggested them. I got them because, yeah, they were part of the products that Five Below had and they fell into the category of blind bags. Anyway, I'm talking too much. Let's open this. 
Okay, this is a very similar package to... Yeah, I forgot which one of these had the same type of packaging. It looks a bit cheap to be honest, but you know, what are you gonna do? Okay. Oh, that's... Uh, I don't know how to feel about that. Are these cookies? They kind of look like cookies, I don't know. That is a bit strange, but I mean, it's it's good quality. At least they got that one down. Let me see if I, if, you know, they say something about these. Oh, okay, so here on the back, you can see this is called Shooky. I like Van, that looks cool. Okay, I guess we got Shooky. I, I don't know what to say, it's, yeah. Not great, not terrible. All right, this is another thing that it's pretty popular. Oh no, I'm not gonna do that. Okay, let's open a different one. Because right now, I really don't have the, the patience to do that. I, yeah, no. And I'm gonna tell you why. All right, this seems to be a lot more simple. Uh, this is the Real Littles Micromart. All new Real Littles, 50 plus to collect. They kind of look like mini brands, but different. I guess there's you have the actual products as characters inside the package. I, yeah, I think that's how it is. Right, this is my first experience and my first encounter with Real Littles. Maybe it's gonna grow on me and I'm gonna start collecting these as well. Okay, Funfetti. This is Haribo Fizzy Cola. Oh, and the collector's guide kind of looks like mini brands. I mean, they're not as small as mini brands and obviously the, the main thing is, I guess, what's inside. So this doesn't look like a Haribo kind of packaging. It's like really thick and stuff, but let's check the old guy inside. Oh, they, they really went the distance. It's like you're buying something from Etsy when they pack it like this, right? And we got a little Haribo Fizzy Cola. Does it smell like cola? Oh, no. It just, it just smells like that toxic plastic type of smell. Okay, that's bad. What am I doing wrong? Oh, okay. And then this is the Funfetti, and we should have a cupcake in there. This one doesn't seem to be packed like, you know, the Etsy products. Alright, this looks better. Does this one smell like a cupcake? Nope, 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 nope. It still smells like that plastic thing. So, real littles. They didn't grow on me. Maybe I need to open more, who knows, but I'm, I'm still sticking to mini brands. Okay, we're done with one bag. Now we started going into the second one. Um, and we're gonna start with Onward from Disney and Pixar. Collectible minis. I really liked this, uh, this movie. Seems like there's seven to collect and here they are. I like how they have this little Thing that they sit in so you can you know it's like a display case i'm curious to see which one we got oh i see there was a couple holes in the bag so i was gonna say like oh those are peepholes you can actually look and see what's inside but nope because it's covered in this cardboard thingy hey we got the main character look at that mr ian lightfoot himself so i'd say it's it's pretty cool it's good quality Again, Disney, even in mini brands, whenever there was the Disney ones is looking better than, you know, the regular mini brands sometimes or the toy mini brands. Yeah, look at that shine over there. Look at that gold. Gold for the golden boy. I think Disney should do blind bags and have this type of quality. Imagine how cool like Toy Story characters would be in one of these, right? All right, next up, it's Among Us micro figures. There are 138 to collect. Never played it. I don't know if it's still as popular as it used to be some time ago it seems like we have a few things in every package you get three of these and one is going to be glow in the dark one is going to be painted in color and one is going to be metallic in this case which i'm really glad we got a gold type of metallic but let's get them out of their package all right here they are the Gold one, the painted one, I guess this is how they are in the game. And then this is the glow in the dark one. I guess if you are into Among Us, th these are really cool to collect, but you know, they, they don't mean much to me. Okay, next up it's the Bee Swarm Simulator. I have no clue if this is actually like a game or something, or it looks almost like, it kind of looks Minecrafty or Roblox type of thing, but I don't know. If you guys know, please share that with me in the comments. 
Right, so we got what looks to be like a sticker and then and this is called pollen compound so it's kind of like play-doh i think and then in here it's some kind of a container oh and there's our figure our mystery figure is a black and white cat it feels so weird to not have any clue what these are it seems like it's a code you scratch it off and then you do something with it Redeem DLC code at beastworm.com, blah, blah, blah. Oh, so it is a game, okay. Then let me do this and whoever plays the game, I mean, whoever gets this code first, you guys can use it. I'm not gonna let this code go to waste. Maybe someone is playing them and would find this very useful. There it is, there's your code. You guys pause the video, first come, first serve. By the time you see this, it might not be available anymore if someone used it. Anyway, enjoy. All right, first of all, let's see what's up with this because there's no guide, there's nothing here. It says mystery, so that's in there. Hatch, meaning I guess you open it and you get out the figure you want. And then collect. So am I supposed to? I'm having a hard time figuring these things out. Maybe I should have done a little bit more research before I started opening them, but oh well. Let's check this out and see if he has some kind of scent or something, or if it's just like Play-Doh. <gasps> Ooh, that is nice. That is really nice. Okay, bonus points for this. I, I don't care about the other stuff, but this is cool. Okay, so it's literally like that um, kind of like magic sand, but not quite. I don't know how you call this. Isn't that cool? Yeah, I'm definitely keeping this. I think this cat goes back in here. Why doesn't it fit anymore? Didn't I just pull it out of here? And then you put this on top? Hmm. I don't think that's what I'm supposed to do. Or maybe, I don't know, it kind of fits. And then you're supposed to pretend that it comes out of here or something. Again, I should have probably done a bit more research on these things before opening them, but I wanted to be kind of like surprised and experience the same thing that you guys would experience if you didn't open these ever. Anyway, if you guys know more about these, let me know in the comments. I'm, I'm curious, what are you exactly supposed to do? Or if it's just like, oh, this is a container. That is a figure. And then this is stuff for you to play with if you're fidgety, I don't know. Guess what, guys? It's time for that segment I call Comment Shoutout. All right, let's see. In this video, the comment shoutout will go to... Oh, we got two comments. Let's start with this one. It seems like it's a lot. Oh yeah, that's a big comment. And the comment is from Missy. They're saying, I am new and this is my third video watching you and I almost fell off my chair laughing when you said that people were telling you that they were putting your videos on to fall asleep. I'm honestly one of those that will fall asleep to true crime but have fallen asleep to other YouTubers and when I had seen this exact same comment in their feed, they kind of get insulted. I am so glad that you did not take it that way. You truly are a very kind individual. And then there's other information here. If you guys want to read the whole comment, you can just pause and read the rest of it. Thank you, Missy, for leaving me that comment. I picked it because I wanted to address the falling asleep part. I know some of you were saying that, you know, it's rude for people to say that they're falling asleep on my video. Uh, some of you guys said like, yes, I do fall asleep on your video. So for all of you that, you know, left a comment saying that, yeah, it's rude for people to say that they fall asleep on my videos. Um, I actually take it as a compliment. I don't see it as being rude. But thank you for, I guess, uh, defending me. I, I don't, like I said, I don't see it as being rude. It's just, you know, people put stuff on and I'm guessing that, you know, everything is a calm type of video and they are able to fall asleep, which is great. It's a positive thing, right? Some of you might, might have took it the wrong way. Like it's so boring that they fall asleep, but I don't see it that way. I see it, it's so calming or it's so cool uh, and relaxing that they're able to fall asleep watching the video. Anyway, let's see who gets the second comment shout out. It goes to Zombie Dixon and they say, I have an extra apple pie mini if you want it. Now, I think they're referring to the metallic apple pie spice because that's the one I'm looking for. I already have the regular one. So if you guys want to send me something, whether it's a mini brand or whatever, you can do so. You don't need to ask me if, if I want it or if you, if you can send it to me or whatever. For every video, if you check the description of the video, you will see the, the PO box address. Yeah, you can send me whatever you want. You don't need to ask me in the comments if you can send me something or if I want something or if you want to send me something, just send it to me. Uh, it will be a nice surprise and I'm gonna probably open it during a video. 
So I'm guessing my answer is yes. I mean, if you guys have the apple pie spice, the metallic one, and you want to help me complete the collection, you can send it to me. I'm not that crazy to refuse it. And But again, it's a really hard to find mini. And even if you have a double, maybe you want to sell the double because they're selling for a pretty good price. So yeah, I would be grateful, but you don't have to. That's what I'm trying to say. And if you do want to send something, you can just send it. You don't need to ask me. Right, that was common shout out. Again, if you want to be featured in one of these segments, you don't need to do anything other than leave me a comment on any of my videos. It doesn't need to be the latest video. And then there is no criteria by which I pick these comments. Sometimes I just want to answer a question that was asked a lot. Sometimes it's a cute comment. Sometimes it's a bad comment. So there's absolutely no criteria by which I go to pick the comment. I'm just really grateful you guys are leaving me comments at all. And it's um. It's really nice reading them and responding to you. I like that we can communicate like that. So here's the thing, guys. Looking at the receipt, it seems like we have 42 in total, 42 blind bags. And um, we opened 21 so far, which means we're halfway there. I already have like one hour and let's see, 45 minutes of footage. And editing this will take a lot of time. And um, the video will probably be long. Either way, I'm thinking let's stop here and open the rest of them, the other half, in a future video. I hope you guys don't mind, but yeah. I'm actually a little bit pressed for time because I need to finish this video faster than usual since my uh, trip to St. Louis, Missouri is coming up. Yeah, we're going to stop here. I, I thought I really thought I could make the whole video from start to finish. That was the idea. But just going through each of them and actually looking at the details, if I was to just rip the packages open, show you what's inside, move to the next one. Yeah, this video would have been done in no time, but I know I got you guys used to me doing a giveaway in every video and even though I'm not going to give away any of these yet because we still have some more to open, I am still going to give something away. And if I never mentioned it, the reason I am doing these giveaways is because I want to give back to you. The only reason why I'm able to buy all these and do all these like bigger and crazy types of videos and actually be able to spend this amount of money for, you know, for a video. Well, I guess in this case it's two videos because we're doing two parts. But anyway, the, the reason I'm able to do this is because of you guys because you watch the videos because you like the videos you comment you maybe sometimes share it with someone else um so this is this is my way to just give back to you so for this giveaway i will be parting ways with 15 disney mini brands out of which this is a surprise three are gold so you got the gold buzz lightyear you got the gold spider-man and then you got the gold Minnie mouse telephone so one of you will win all these. You probably already know the rules. If not, here they are again. First, you need to subscribe unless you're already subscribed and like the video. Second, you need to leave a comment for this video. Whatever you want, just make sure you include the word giveaway. And three, the most important step is to email me so I can get back to you if you win. Please make sure you do all of these three steps if you want to enter the giveaway. That is all you need to do. But there's a couple more things that you need to be aware of. You need to be 18 or older to participate. This is worldwide, so everyone can enter the draw. You have 48 hours to leave a comment and enter the draw. So that's until Monday, 8 a.m. Chicago time. So make sure you do the math based on where you're from. If you get an email from me that you want, please respond within 24 hours. Otherwise, I'll have to select someone else. You can find all the giveaway rules in the description box. And if you're watching this video at a later time and missed the giveaway, I still have some good news for you. I'll be doing this again, so all you need to do is just subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss the next video. That's about it. I wish you the best of luck. Oh, and one more thing. I won't reply to your email unless you won. I replied to every single email and it took way too long. I'm really sorry. I guess that if you don't hear from me by Tuesday, it's probably because you didn't win the giveaway. Oh, and by the way, the winner of the last giveaway is Fire Panthers. Congratulations and thank you to everyone that participated. I genuinely wish everyone would win. And every time a winner is picked, I'm happy for them. And at the same time, I'm sad for the ones that joined the giveaway and didn't win. I hope that someday in the future, I'll be able to make all of you winners. Right, and with that, we're going to end this video here. If you're still here, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you being here. Don't forget to like the video, leave a comment, and then subscribe to my channel. Next time I'll see you, we're gonna open the rest of these, and hopefully I'm gonna have some update for my trip to Missouri. That's of course, unless Series 4 comes out, in which case we're gonna probably open Mini Brand Series 4. 
But if not, then we're gonna open some of these and see which of the blind bags from Five Below rank the highest and which I recommend you purchase. As usual, you guys stay golden until the next video. Bye bye.